Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Yuya Fibulosa and in this video we're going to talk about bras. Now the main thing I want to cover in this video is how to choose the right bra for you and what different types of bras are out there. Now in order to choose the perfect bra for you, you're going to need to know your band size as well as your cup size. To find the band size, what you'll need is measuring tape. You'll take that measuring tape and you're going to measure yourself right below the bust line across the chest. So you take that measuring tape and wrap it around your chest. Now for me, you can see that I land at 33. Now, important fact about bras, they only go in even sizes. So I can either round down to a 32 or round up to a 34. Personally, I round up to a 34 because I like to have a bit more space with my bras and I like to feel comfortable and not so confined. Now that I know my band size is a 34, next is figuring out the cup size. Now the cup size is very important because it gives you an idea of the volume of your chest. Now for those of us girls out there who lack natural cleavage, we have a lot of flexibility on choosing our cup size. Really, I decide the cup size of my bra depending on the outfit that I'm wearing. So you want to make sure that with your cup size that you're able to fill out your dress. But you want to make sure you're filling it out properly. Because sometimes when you're wearing a bra that's volume is too big, you might end up finding that your dress starts to fringe at the bottom or things start to wrinkle out in the middle of your dress because so much of the fabric is being pulled up because of the larger volume of your bra. But if your cup size is too small, you might not properly fill out that dress. I remember when I first started wearing bras, there was a lot of trial and error happening in order for me to find the perfect bra that works for me. But again, there is a lot of flexibility that I have in those of us out there who lack natural cleavage with cup sizes. So the band size always stays the same, but with cup size we can go up or down, it really depends on the outfit we're wearing, really depends on the silhouette that we want to create. Now, very important tip. If you have broader shoulders, I highly recommend larger cups. That larger volume cup will bring balance to your silhouette for those of us out there who have broader shoulders. Now personally, I like to choose between a B or a C cup. I like to stay in that range, although there have been times where I have worn a D cup, but it really, really does depend on the outfit that I'm wearing. This bra that you see before you is a B cup. Here's an important call out. I highly recommend when you're out there looking for bras, purchasing a push-up bra that has padding. Why? Because it gives you a lot of shape and volume already without having to fill in the bra. See this bra, there's nothing inside happening here, but they're already giving me the shape and volume here. And it's perfect because if I were to throw on a shirt or a dress, it's already going to fill out that dress the way I intended to be filled out. You don't really get that with non-padded bras. With non-padded bras, you're going to have to stuff those bras. Now, again, padded bras give you that volume you need, so it just makes things so much easier. You know, you're not looking for missing chicken cutlets or um, rice padded balls that you've created out of stockings. I mean, I've made a video about that if you've um, been following me for quite some time. I've made a video on how I contour my breasts as well as how I fill in my bras. Rather, it's more of a how to, you know, salvage leftover pantyhose. You can really use old tattered up pantyhose to create kind of a rice ball to then stuff yourself. But it's not even important or necessary to do when you have padded bras, unless you really want to bring up the volume. But it might not look that realistic or authentic. But again, it really depends on what it is you're trying to achieve with your look. And maybe it is necessary for those of us out there who have broader shoulders to get more volume in the chest area. Now there are two types of bras you want to keep an eye out for when you're shopping for that perfect bra. Wired bras and non-wired bras. Now it's very easy to pinpoint a wired bra. A wired bra basically has wiring underneath the cup. This helps with security and keeping things up. A non-wired bra, which is what I'm wearing now, has no wire here. It's pretty elastic, it's very flexible, and it's very comfortable. Now the occasions that you want to wear a non-wired bra are usually when you're at home, relaxing, maybe working out, just kind of lounging about. That is the perfect occasion to wear a non-wired bra. Or maybe even making a YouTube video. That's why I'm wearing this bra. I'm just staying indoors today and wanted to show off my standard black bra because every girl should have a standard black bra. Now, if you're going out all day dressed up to work or on a date or whatever it is, I highly recommend a wired bra because that wiring really keeps things up and secure. You're gonna choose a non-wired bra when you're just at home lounging about like I am today. Now, I guess if you're working from home, it's really a toss up. Me personally, when I'm at home, I'm gonna choose the non-wired bra just because it's more comfortable. But again, when I'm wearing something that's, you know, evening wear or 
something that's really intricate, a wire bra is so important because you really, really want to make sure that things are secure. Non-wire bras are very, very flexible and they're breathable. However, like let's say you're wearing something that's, you know, low cut and cinched, you might find that the non-wire bra will move a bit too much in the dress, whereas a wire bra will, again, give you that security and stability you want in a bra. Now, there's one last suggestion I have for you all. If you're just now getting started with buying bras, I recommend getting three different types of bras. Now, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you're getting a wired or non-wired bra because you know best where you'll be wearing that bra, whether it's indoors or outdoors. So you make that decision. But I highly recommend getting push-up padded bras. And not only that, for those of you just now starting out wearing bras or cross-dressing or whatnot, I highly recommend getting a black bra, a white bra, and a strapless bra. Now, the reason I recommend a white and black bra is primarily because of the different outfits that you'll be wearing. Some occasions are gonna call for a black bra, some of your outfits are gonna look better with a white bra, but a strapless bra is gonna be super, super useful. Now, you'll find that strapless bras are gonna be super helpful for any kind of dress that's gonna show off the shoulders like a halter top, anything that's strapless or sleeveless, anything that's lacy, anything that is going to be sheer. You know, you don't want to have a bra strap kind of coming through and taking away from the beautiful, you know, strapless, sleeveless dress that you're wearing. Or imagine a sweetheart dress and it's red and you're wearing a black bra and now you have this black strap coming out. It might be a little bit distracting, but it really depends. That might be your aesthetic. Sometimes it looks good to have, you know, either a matching bra or contrasting colors. Sometimes it's, you know, sexy to have, you know, something that's lacy that's kind of sticking through. But if you want to be safe and you want to make sure that your bra isn't taking away from your, you know, strapless gown or, you know, your sleeveless dress, then I'm going to highly recommend wearing a strapless bra. You'll find that they come in handy for so many different scenarios. Now, for those of you out there who are brand new to wearing bras, I'm sure you've had some difficulties putting them on. It can be a bit difficult getting that hook and eye together from behind. It takes years of practice. And honestly, sometimes even I struggle with it. But I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to quickly put on a bra. So now using my mannequin here, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to put on a bra that's super easy and painless. So you're gonna take your hook and your eye, right? I don't know if you can see that, but basically with these two hooks here, or sometimes three, most bras that I've seen usually have three or two, um, you just need to latch the hook and the eye in together, right? Very simple, but it's not so simple when you're doing it, you know, without looking and you're doing it from behind. So for those of you who are just starting or looking for a quick and easy way to put on a bra, what I tend to do sometimes when I'm really in a hurry is put it on backwards, quickly latch them together, the hook and the eye, and then just turn the bra around and voila, quick and easy. And then you can fill the bra out. But I'm sure some of you have been wearing bras for quite some time, so you can just ignore that trick. I'm sure a lot of you out there are pros and you can do it with your eyes closed. Hmm, I think that pretty much covers it for bras. Pretty simple, right? Or was that kind of complicated? I've been wearing bras for quite some time, so for me, it's just, it's like, choosing underwear. It's very easy. But I mean, I know a lot of you out there who are just now starting cross-dressing or are interested in learning more about it. It might be daunting. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to help you find the perfect bra for you. Guess that's it for today's video. As always, I'm Yuya Vivalosa. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.